Hello, friends. I'm here in my largest crinoline because I can. <laughs> but um, I shared something on Instagram with you guys that you people really took to, and I wanted to have a larger discussion about it and read some of the reviews. So this is the Holy Spirit talking board. Um, I really have to assume that this was made in jest. I mean, I just have to. Um, let me show you what the pictures of it look like. Uh, and then let's talk about the claims that it makes. So it's it's got all the traditional talking board stuff, but then at the bottom has a little goodbye Jesus. It's got a cross-shaped planchette, and it's got angels singing on either side of it. Um, here's the description provided from the website. Currently available, by the way, on Amazon for $29.95. Like, it's inexpensive. The Holy Spirit Board is the only spirit board designed to directly contact our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Unlike other spirit boards that are often used to contact ghosts and demons, this is a one-way ticket straight to heaven. Try it today and discover a new way to pray. We're going to pause right there. So, first of all, I'm, I'm a Christian. I have no issue admitting that. Um, like, on the internet for you people. But I think this is equally offensive if you're Christian or not. Um, because at best, this is a joke that is meant to belittle a faith and take advantage of some fairly gullible people. Um, and I think that's the case here. But also, like, I mean, like, I, I don't, I don't even know what to say. Like, who is this for? Who is this for? Except to specifically make fun of a certain group. You know what I mean? Um, but then let's, let's continue on here. Um, unlike other spirit boards, this one will never contact evil ghosts or demons. So you can ask your questions with an assured sense of safety. Like any product I feel has to have some legitimacy behind it. This one clearly does not. If it said this is a joke, I would have so many less issues with this. Um, but the reason I wanted to talk to you guys about it again is to read the reviews of this product. I didn't include a lot of them from religious people who were clearly offended by this and very triggered. Um, there's a lot more of those. If you want to read them, go ahead. They're on the internet. <laughs> um, I included some of them so that you can get like a flavor, but I, I wanted you to see what else is out there. So I'm going to put my hair up because I know I'm going to be losing my mind and then I'm going to get back and read some. Okay, so first of all, here's the breakdown of customer reviews. 62% of them are five star, 8% are four star, which has to be like one or two people, which I, I read it and it's basically the quality of the board they say is not that great. So that makes sense. If you're doing a three or a two star, I really don't understand where you're coming from. Um, and then 21% are the one star reviews, mostly from the kindly religious folk. Let's read one of those. So this is from Melanie, one star. Evil in board game form. What a terrible idea. If you want to talk to God, read the Bible and simply call out to him. The Bible expressly warns against using false methods to seek him. Don't do this and don't put your children in jeopardy by putting this in their path. I can't imagine a worse gift for a child. So like I said, there were a lot of those. There were a lot of people just saying like, this is not of God, um, which you get. We're going to skip those. <laughs> Go to some of the more fun ones. Um, this was a very long review. I just cut this part out. Also, the messages I'm getting from Jesus are odd. He says his actual name is Asmodeus. Weird, but I still love it. Box and planchette are top quality. From John. Fantastic. When the magical sky wizard voice in your head needs to get out, play this game. Good for all ages. Um, from Jerry. Disappointed. I carefully read the reviews before getting this product, and I based the reviews on my purchase. I was hoping I would be able to talk to Jesus, and so far nothing. This is so disappointing. All I keep getting is some raspy-voiced man. What I appreciate about this product, because I do appreciate some things, is that people have fun with it, especially in the reviews. I mean, I, I will give it that. This one from G Gear Grinder, direct line to Jesus. Got this as a last resort because I was in dire need to speak to Jesus, and he seemed to be avoiding all my prayers. After setting it up at 1 minute and 16 seconds, I made contact. It's been a while now, and I feel that we are connecting so well. I asked him to move in with me yesterday, and now he seems to be avoiding me again. Did I come on too strong? Did he find someone else? Am I too clingy? I wish he would tell me what's wrong. 
Maybe I'm just overthinking it and this is all in my head. It's hard to tell what's real anymore. The thing that got me is that 298 people found this to be helpful. Next, Christians please avoid. This game is a dolled up Christian imagery Ouija board. As one who used to use tarot cards, crystals, etc., this is the same tools the evil one wants to trick you into using. If you believe in Christianity, then stay away from such temptations. You will open something in your home, your life, that will latch onto you and your loved ones. The world is a mess. What do you think got us into this? Pray for yourself. Pray for the world. Leave this alone. It's not a toy. 123 people found this helpful. Um, now again, I'm going to read you some more of the religious ones here uh, from Khalil and Miranda. This is a Ouija board. This is not a Christian. Pick up your Bibles and read. I repeat, do not buy this. This opens doors to the demonic. Stop. Do not buy this disgusting product. You will not be speaking to Jesus with this evil product. On the contrary, you will only be speaking to Satan and his demons. If you are buying this product to speak to Jesus, please know that through prayer and reading the Bible, and I just cut her off there. So again, guys, like I'm Christian, just don't engage, just don't engage because this is the kind of thing that people love trolling and the responses that you're giving are the ones that people love feeding their evil energy off of. <laughs> like, it, and, and again, like, I don't like this product, both because I think it mocks my faith and because I don't. I don't fuck with Ouija boards. Like, I don't. I don't. I don't think that the Ouija board itself has any specific power. Like, I'm from Baltimore. They're manufactured here. It's always been kind of a joke. Um, but I don't believe in, like, inviting that bad juju into your house. So I don't mess with them anyway. But, like, every time I read one of those comments from a sincere religious person, it was like, just, just stop. Like, just move on. Just, this is not for you. Just move on. Just move on. Like, mm. Okay, next. From David, he's a real chatterbox. Oh boy, does this thing work. We've already, we're already using pet names for each other and he insists I call him Captain Howdy. Exorcist reference there. If you don't get it, please go watch the movie. Also, there's a real serial killer in that thing. <gasps> Read it, okay. Although, things are slowed down by the fact that the board doesn't have any numbers. Darn it, won't be winning the lotto anytime soon. This is offset by how active he is, full of all sorts of gossip about neighbors and even new stories. Today he's been telling me the story of Deplegis the Wise. Goodbye from Erickson. Jesus told me not to vote Republican or support televangelists, so it could be real, but I'm not sure what the goodbye on the board means. Again, 100 people found this useful. So a lot of people are reading these comments. Next. Hallelujah. I used to use a Ouija board, but after my home became infested with demons and ghosts, I knew I had to turn to Jesus. Not only has the Holy Spirit board made me a better person, but now I can have the Lord tell me my fortune every day. Praise Jesus. Again, this is just a sheer mockery. Like, ugh. but I will say, and I'm saying this like as a Christian, Jesus liked women with attitude. If you read the Bible, that's what you're going to get. Well, this is something. I admit, I collect Ouija boards and bought this as a joke piece for my collection. However, this is a pretty nice looking board. Not sure if it works or not. It keeps demanding 10% of my paycheck before I go on. So I set it next to my Ozzy Osbourne board and we'll see which one bursts into flames first. <laughs> this one I actually do appreciate because I think there are a lot of people who collect Ouija boards. And this one is an, it, it's an interesting one to have. Although again, would not have it in my home. <gasps> From Riley. Thank you. I love Jesus board. Big love for Jesus Christina's represent. We're going to work through it. Jesus was very informative, gave me all the big answers, but I forgot to say goodbye. Jesus. Oh, I forgot to say goodbye, Jesus. And I think Christ is haunting me now. Five stars would recommend. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. I think that if you're a person of any faith, you have to have a sense of humor we're all screwed if God doesn't, right? <laughs> and I think we've all collected years of evidence that says he does. Um, I, can't, I, do, I don't bring it into my home. I think there's some juju going on there. I don't like inviting. Um, but at the very least, this is something that I can laugh at. I wanted you guys to see the comments. Enough of you asked for them that I figured I could do a quick video for you. So let me know what you think. <laughs> Bye, guys.